Hit the thumbs up button if you like the content. Hey, man, I'm back, man. I'm back. Good morning to y'all. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope you're having a great morning. I had a rough, rough night last night. <clears throat> um, trying to cycle through these episodes. I'm a little under the weather, but show must go on. And I'm going to keep this thing going, man. I don't care if I'm under the weather. I don't care if I'm sneezing like crazy. I'm just going to keep this thing going. So look. So today's episode, <clears throat> we're going to be talking about the Grammys. Kendrick Lamar has been nominated for several Grammys. And we're going to go through this and talk about it and discuss how I feel about it before I get into that. You know, I got to get my legendary spill. This is Torture Talk. If you like the content, please consider subscribing. If you're new here, let me work for your subscription today. All the beautiful, sexy ladies put one in the chat. All the fellas. Y'all know where to find the ones at. They over there. Just don't harass them. I don't sell no merch, but I do have content absolutely free. But if you want to leave a donation, links is on the screen right here. Cash app, PayPal is in the description. They call me the hidden gem. I went from 1,300 to subscribers to over 12,000 subscribers. I'm so happy about that. You know what I'm saying? And um, let me know where you're from, too. I really appreciate it. Hey, man, look. Let me see if I can get this thing right. Because it looks like it's not clear. All right, there it is. It's clear enough. All right, so look, man. We're going to get into this clip. This clip comes courtesy of Chilling with Moni. You know how it is with, with, these, with these people. I love Chilling with Moni. I love Big Kiss. I love uh, The Ville. I love all these channels, man. We the new, we the second coming. You know what I'm saying? The king of the north. You know what I'm saying? Torture talk, all that good stuff. So look, we're going to get into this clip and um, we'll be back to discuss. All right, so look, man, we're going to get into this clip, man. And that's how it's going to be. <laughs> Chilling with Moni, you know what it is. So let's go. Shout out to all the cousins who were just on the live stream with me for the Grammy 2025 Grammy nominations. Appreciate y'all joining me this lot on that live stream this morning. But I wanted to come over here and make a short informal video regarding some of the nominations. So first of all, I wanted to start by saying, Kendrick just open his mouth. Somebody go ahead on my Grammy right now. <laughs> Words have never sounded more sweeter than that. Congratulations are due for So, all right, let's get into that. I think that uh I think that people demonize accolades to the point where I'm starting to see a lot of influencers and a lot of uh uh YouTubers talking about the Grammys as if it's not if it's not an achievement. Because they're saying it off of the system, it's not an achievement. Listen. The Grammys is the Super Bowl of music awards. I don't care if you don't like it or not. I don't care how you try to spin it. It's the Super Bowl of music awards. I guarantee you, if you were to say all of the hip hop artists had to give their Grammys back, everybody would be in an uproar. That's how you know it's a big deal. Now, there's certain things that I disagree with with the Grammys, and I think that... uh. It's certain things that they do that I just don't like. You know what I'm saying? And album, album of the year always seems that it's not a uh it's not a hip hop artist. And I don't like that. It's only been two hip hop artists album of the year, I believe. One was Lauren Hill, and the other one was, I believe it was uh, uh, uh Outcast. I can't remember which one it was. I think it was it, I don't think it was Equimini. I think it was maybe Love uh, Love Below. Speak about the love below. Maybe it was a criminal. I'm not sure. But to me, those was the only hip hop album awards uh, that they gave. Album awards, not hip hop. I think that that's the problem. When you look at the Grammys, it always, always somebody like Taylor Swift winning. She has about six or seven album of the year awards. And I laugh at that because I say to myself, how is it that? She has six or seven album of the year awards when you have hip hop albums that are much better than her albums. But that's the only gripe I have with the Grammys. That's a big gripe, but that's the only one. But to say that it's to say that that it's not 
it's not relevant or you don't people don't care you you're not a musician because ultimately every musician they want at least one of them at least one and i believe that if you get a, if you get a, a a grammy for let's say song of the year everybody that's a part of that that song i believe gets a grammy too i believe you ain't just the only one everybody gets one but that's an achievement that most people won't get so even if you don't like the fact that it's then you might say it's watered down, but then you got to ask yourself, is the Grammys really watered down? Because there are more hip hop awards given out throughout the whole year at the Grammys than any other genre. There's that's it. There's more Grammy awards given out to hip hop artists. Look at look at all, all songs of the year, I believe. Well, it's not that many hip hop songs that came out this year that that are uh I would say that are relevant enough to be in the Grammys. Cuz you might have your personal favorites like there's some artists that I think is dope but do I think that they deserve a Grammy? I don't think so because they it's much more than just how good you are. Because you got you have to people have to you have to be a little bit known. You know what I'm saying? And I and I'm not really big on artist that's super popular but you have to be you have to be a, a little bit appealing you can't just say well he deserves a grammy and nobody heard of him like that's not right like come on now well, let's keep it going kendrick lamar who has had one of the best years in rap history or in music history in general for an artist mind you with no album out no album out today the grammy nominations were released and shout out to you again if you were in the live stream when the announcements came through. But Kendrick received seven nominations in total. He is nominated for Best Rap Performance for Not Like Us and Like That. Best Rap Song for Not Like Us and Like That. Record of the Year for Not Like Us. Song of the Year for Not Like Us. Best Music Video for Not Like Us. Now, I know like me, Many of you were hoping for a Euphoria nomination, but I'm... So let me stop it there. Um, before she go on about Euphoria, and I've got some things to say about that too. Um, this is well-deserved. I think that... And, and do I believe he's going to win? He's going to sweep the Grammys? I don't think he's going to sweep the Grammys because I think that they're going to give certain songs to certain people. You know what I'm saying? Uh... Like, like, for example, like Shabuzi, you got to give Shabuzi an award because he stayed on top of, uh, he stayed on top of the billboard for weeks and weeks and weeks. You can't ignore that. I think he's going to win. I think he's going to win five. He's going to win five Grammys. The crazy thing is not like us is a diss song. Usually diss songs don't get, uh, don't get what's the name, you know, don't get, uh, uh, nominated. Well, at least, at least that's what they say. But I mean, coincidentally, I guess it never, n this song never got nominated or maybe who knows, it could have been, uh, something where they said, no, we're not nominating this song, but this song was so big that they had no choice. The thing is, I think that when, when Drake said the whole line about Kendrick is talking, somebody give him another Grammy. He realized that Drake realized that Kendrick is special and Kendrick is so good that the Grammys acknowledge that he's that good and they give him awards for it. I think Drake is trying to pretend as if the Grammys isn't a big deal to him anymore because he got enough and he's looking at it like, well, they're giving they're giving this guy all the awards anyway, so it doesn't mean nothing. But you got to ask yourself, every artist that, to me, and I mean, maybe y'all come give me some pushback on this, but I'm, I, I'm looking at it from a different lens. Different lens. Every artist that I come across that got a Grammy Award, some of those songs have a meaning to it. Or... There is something about them songs that does something. Even, even with me saying that Taylor Swift 
always getting album of the year and there was albums better than her albums. Even with me saying that, there's some type of messaging and meaning in that music. It's not just, she's just throwing anything out there. And I think some of these uh, these these uh, Grammy judges, they take this in, all into consideration. They also take into consideration risk takers. And I know a lot of y'all probably don't, don't think this, but I know people that know people directly in the Grammys. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to get up here and say who. I'm just going to say I do. I ain't lying to y'all. Um, and the way they, the way, the way they uh, nominate people is a little bit different. You know what I'm saying? Some people say they're going off the votes of people, but they try to factor everything in. You know what I'm saying? And most of the time they go off for of impact. What song and what album or who had the most impact on the people? And then they, they factor everything in. The reason why I think Kendrick Lamar is such a big deal this year, again, is because he, ha he, he, he don't have an album out. He dropped four songs. Three of those songs I definitely think should have been nominated. Only one got nominated. And then the other one he was a feature on that got nominated. So he's going to clear all that. That's that's off the rip. He's clearing that. But I think Drake tried to make the Grammys as if it doesn't matter. And he's like, he's totally against it because nobody cares about him when it comes to the Grammys. Because he looks at it like, well, I got all these hits. Why am I not getting nominated? But you are getting nominated. He's getting nominated. He's just losing when Kendrick comes around because Drake music is not as impactful as Kendrick music, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Fortunately, y'all, when you think about it, him having three songs in at least two of the categories, the rap categories specifically, would not have bode well for Kendrick for his chances of winning in those two categories. It would be him going up against himself three times. and. I disagree with that. I think that if Euphoria was in there, I believe that he would have going to win either way. I don't care if they put all the songs in one of the artists, Kendrick is going to win either way. Not Like Us is going to probably be every one of those categories, except maybe Song of the Year. Even though I believe that it is Song of the Year, I think Shibuzi is going to take the Song of the Year award. I think he's going to take song of the year and I think he's going to take rap song out of rap a single of the year or best artist of the year. He's going to take all the other ones, but I think that Shibuzi is going to take song of the year. You know what I'm saying? He's going to take the video of the year. He's going to take all that. You know what I'm saying? I think he's going to take hip hop song of the year, but I don't know if he's going to take song of the year, but I'm happy that it's, it's actually two, uh, two brothers getting the recognition that uh that we deserve but I think we I think we get a lot of recognition in the Grammys. I think I think I think there's I think we get a lot of recognition. I think there and I also think that there are some people who run the Grammys that are uh that are of, of of our ethnicity. And not to mean I mean not to be uh uh you know uh, how would I say uh all about that, but I'm just speaking on people who think that the Grammys is just always about white people. It's not, you know what I'm saying? it's likely a chance that someone else will sneak in and get the win if it's based on a point system. So I wanted Euphoria to be nominated, but it makes sense why Euphoria was not nominated when he's already up against himself with Like That and having Not Like Us nominated. Additionally, I want to congratulate our girl Dochi, who came through swinging with her mixtape Alligator Bites Never Hills this year. Dochi was nominated in the following categories for Best Rap Album for Alligator Bites Never Hill. And yes, y'all, it is a mixtape, but it still qualifies for Rap Album. Best Rap Performance for Nissan Altima and a Best New Artist nominations. Um, my opinion, Dochi deserves I'm Willing to Die on the Hill. She put out the best project this year in rap. And while you guys... I am happy for Kendrick and Dolce, rightfully so. Um, I have to mention 
the schoolboy Q snub for blue lips in the best rap category. The category features J Fold, I mean J Cole for Mike Delete Later, Common and Pete Rock for the Auditorium, Dolce, Alligator Bites Never Hills, The Death of Slim Shady by Eminem, and We Don't Trust You by Metro and Future. Okay, now I agree with her on this. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. J. Cole album shouldn't have been in there. That was a one and done for me. Now it it was it was it was fire as first as far as uh raps. Like, don't get me wrong, but for it to be nominated for rap album of the year, I absolutely not. No, absolutely not. I can name about five albums that would I would qualify over that. You know what I'm saying? Blue Lips is one of them. Now, the Tyler and the Absol album, I know Absol just came out to, uh, yesterday, actually today, but it's just for yesterday. It came out, uh, came out, so I can't say that album. And Tyler, the Creator album, which I just got, uh, I just listened to over again, that's definitely better than the J. Cole album. You know what I'm saying? But for you to say, but for them to put, for them to put that uh, uh, J. Cole uh, uh, album in there, I don't, I'm not feeling that. I don't think that that album deserves to be album of the year. Nah, uh-uh. There's other, there's, I believe there's other people now. Um, Blue Lips definitely should have took that spot. But I understand why. And even though to me it's kind of like weird to say this, but I understand why they didn't put it in there. You know what I'm saying? Because they had, they probably had a choice between him and Dochi because they both on the same label. You know what I'm saying? So they probably said, well, which one are we gonna put in there? And she's probably gonna win. And I'm gonna tell y'all why she probably gonna win. I wouldn't be shocked because that project is actually really good. On top of that. I wouldn't be shocked if she wins because it's not like the album isn't as good or better than all the albums that's in the category. Most likely, she's probably going to win that. You know what I'm saying? I, Future and Metro, that they might win. The likelihood of Future and Metro winning is because of like that, and they started that whole, that was where the war started. I could kind of see why. But if you got a female in there who has a mixtape and she wins a Grammy off of a mixtape, that's a big deal. And people are going to say that. They're going to say that. But this isn't just because she's a female. And I know a lot of people probably have that idea. Well, well it's because she a girl and they feel bad for her. No, she's actually really good. And it's not because she's just a girl. You know what I'm saying? No, she's good. So I'm thinking that that's what it probably is. She's probably going to win because her album, I would say, so out of the albums in that category, you got J. Cole. I think her album is better than J. Cole's. You got uh, Eminem, The Death of Slim Shady. That's up there with that. You know what I'm saying? It's an argument for it. Then you got uh, you got uh, Future and Metro. It's an argument for that. The Common in, um, um, Common in Pete Rock, I believe. I mean, I don't know about that album. I think the her album is better than that. You know what I'm saying? And 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 um yeah, I said and I said J. Cole and herself. So I don't know. I definitely think that uh that Blue Lips should be in there because Blue Lips is man, Blue Lips is fire. That's a fire album, man. If you haven't heard that album, that's definitely album of the year material. A hundred percent. One hundred percent. So my question is, why is J. Fold j cole here oh another person that got snubbed too and it's to tell you something about uh they don't just do things for females meg the stallion dropped the album too and her album wasn't nominated at all so this is not just like they whoever's doing this selection is not just picking women because they feel bad for women I don't think that that's the case. I think they're picking who they think is the good artist this year. And I'm surprised Eminem got nominated. I'm surprised. Because he normally, I ain't going to say he normally don't get nominated for Grammys, but 
I don't remember last time he got nominated for a Grammy, at least in that category. But shout out to him. Over Blue Lips, even over Vin Staples, somebody is lying. Somebody ain't doing the math right, in my opinion. There's no reason why Schoolboy Q's Blue Lips was not nominated this year. Severe snub, severe snub. Schoolboy Q should have been nominated because he put out a quality product. Top three, top two product this year. TDE carried in the West Coast carried this year. That, that's 100% facts. That's 100% facts. I think that the West Coast made hip hop strong, man. I ain't going to sit here and lie to y'all. I can't even lie to y'all. The West Coast, the West Coast is the reason why hip hop is strong, and it's it's where it's at right now. There's no other. There's no other. There's other people doing music, but the West Coast are are experiment. After I heard Tyler album, after I heard uh, what Kendrick did, after I heard what what Absol just dropped, after I heard uh, Blue Lips. Nah, the West Coast right now is killing it, bro. Ain't you, 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 There's no way, bro. The West Coast is smoking everything in front of them right now. Those four albums right there. Oh, and, and Dolce, too. That's five. Those five albums, bro. They're, they're, they're smoking everybody in front of them right now. And Kendrick ain't even dropped his album. I can imagine if Kendrick dropped the album. He didn't even drop nothing. But they, they're, they're on fire right now. Like the West Coast, I'm, I'm gonna get into I'm gonna get into uh get into that at the end. I got some, I got a lot to say about it. Let's keep it going. So for Schoolboy Q and Vince Staples to also get snubbed, kind of kind of corny, kind of whack. But again, y'all, at the end of the day, congratulations to Kendrick Lamar for his seven nominations, and congratulations to Dolce for her three nominations. The Grammys comes on February 2nd, I believe, at the top of the year. So, of course, y'all know we will be tuned in and watching. And hopefully, Kendrick can go seven for seven. Or Dochi can sneak in there and, and get an award. <laughs> but they're both going up against each other for best rap performance um this year so cousins let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below was there any snubs that you caught i think tyler was also a snub that i caught um megan the stallion there was no nominations for her as well i believe but yeah cousins let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below make sure you like this video subscribe to the discord and i'll catch y'all in my next one later yeah dope video anyway um the west coast right now is the new east coast to me if you listen to the west coast for the most part they're they 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 have the they have most of them some of them still have the west coast sound obviously but the way they're going about it is like 90s 90s Early 90s, uh, middle 90s, mid 90s, East Coast rap. Like I listened to uh I listened to uh Ab Soul album today. That's a phenomenal pro that's album of the year to me. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I listened to it like three times earlier today. And I listened to all of them. I listened to Tyler, I listened to uh uh all of them. Um and I feel like his album is 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 absolute soulful, but it's more than that because there's some samples in there you recognize from from Biggie from Biggie's albums, you know what I'm saying? And then, but the way the songs are crafted, how they run into each other, it's just a well put together project from the beginning to the end. It's so well put together. That's why I feel like like the West Coast been doing their thing. And I think a lot of uh, East Coast artists out here, a lot of East Coast artists went, they're, they're basically underground. Not even, not even underground, but the ones that are really good, they're not on the level of popularity as a Schoolboy Q or as a uh, Ab Soul or, or 
Kendrick and or uh, you know what I'm saying? They're not on that level, but they're known. And I would even say that some of them rap is just as well, or some of them even better. But they don't have the the mass appeal like some of these artists. And I and I and you know what? I don't even think it's their fault. I think that the reason why Abso, Schoolboy Q, uh, all of them on that side, the reason why they come out with such diverse music is because they have a lot of people around them that are musicians and they know exactly what they're doing. Thundercat, Soundwave, all these people around them, they know about music. You know what I'm saying? They know about all that. So these people come in the studio with them and they know exactly what to do with what. You got to take that into consideration. You, you're dealing with people who are real musicians. That's who they surround themselves with. And then you got, you got to give it up to TDE, man. Yo, TDE, man. TDE run is crazy. Their run is crazy. They don't have no corny albums. Every one of their albums either either extremely good or classic. TDE may be, may be the new, to me, maybe the new Wu Tang when it comes to albums. Because if you look at Wu Tang, um, Wu Tang did it, did everything. They did everything. They had classics on classics. You know what I'm saying? Some people don't think that Me uh, Method Man's first album was classic. I do, but some people don't. You know what I'm saying? But if you look at the if you look at the TDE artists, I don't think right now there's no label better than TDE. There's literally no label better than TDE right now. I mean, people could say, well, there's really not that many labels. I think J. Cole got a label, Dreamville. They're not better than TDE. And you got uh, 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 Drake, OVO Sound. Come on. He ain't even produce his own artists. You know what I'm saying? I just, I just think that TDE, they, to me, TDE, I feel like they appreciate lyrics and music. They try to balance the two. If you listen to their projects, they don't compromise with just trying to make catchy stuff. They got to have some type of crazy bars in there somewhere from every one of their projects, from SZA down to Dolce, down to Kendrick, down to Absol, J-Rock, uh, 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 this guy, schoolboy Q, blank fake. Come on, bro. Yo, they literally, uh, they literally have some. Yo, oh my God. I'm just thinking, now I'm just sitting here thinking about all the good projects TDE has put out. I have to do a separate video for that. I really do. I have to do a separate video, of all the albums that TDE has done that are either classic or just simply amazing. Because I don't think they have any bad projects over there. None. But as far as the Grammys go, Kendrick, right now, to me, he's on a run to surpass Jay-Z and Kanye. I think he's going to end up having the most Grammys in hip-hop history out of all the rappers. Because I'm looking at it from the point of view of, he did this, he might win five. Let's just, I'm just going to go on a low number. Let's just say Kendrick wins three. Out of seven, he wins three. So now he has, I believe, 17 Grammys. I believe he has 17. So he wins three, that's 20, right? So if he wins three, I believe he has 17. I'm not sure. Somewhere around there. But if he if he wins three, that's 20. But if he wins uh, five, that's 20, that's 22. You know what I'm saying? If he wins, if he wins five, that's 22. If, if, he wins all seven. He has more Grammys than uh, Jay and uh, what's the name? If he wins five, I believe Jay and, and Kanye has, I believe they have 21 apiece. I believe it's 21. I believe they do. I'm not sure if it's 21 or 27, but I, mean, I think it's 21. Anyway, they tied. So if he was decided, if he decided to do if he decided to do, like, release an album, well, obviously he's going to release an album. Once he releases his album, then it's going to be nominated for next year's Grammys most uh, nine times out of ten. And once it's nominated for next year's Grammys, then he wins more, and then that's it. He's going to surpass them. 
So I'm thinking either this year or next album, he's surpassing Kanye and Drake. I mean, um, in uh, in uh, Jay, in the Grammy category. You know what I mean? But for people to say that the Grammys is not a big deal, it's a big deal. I don't care what none of y'all say. It's a big deal because it's 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 on like I believe like like I don't know if they're in the '60s, like '63 or the '60th or something like that. I'm not sure if it's if it's in the '50s or the '60s. But you got to understand, this has been running for years, and it's a big, big, big business, whether you want to talk about money-wise or whether you want to talk about influence-wise. But that having that on your resume, everybody wants to work with you. You could work with artists and blow them up. You could work with artists that nobody can ever work with. Like, like for example, like Sade. I don't think Sade works with rappers like that. But just imagine if you had 18 Grammys. She definitely more likely to work with you because you have so many accolades. Because a lot of those artists, at when they're at that stage of their career that are super legendary, they don't necessarily care about how many records you sold. They want to see if you can actually change the course of music in some type of way. And the Grammys is definitely an indicator of that. I mean, you got some people who got Grammys that probably shouldn't have never got one. Like, come on, let's be honest here. But you also got artists like, Stevie Wonder and Michael Jackson and Prince and all these people got Grammys. You gonna say that they're trash? You know what I'm saying? Come on now. And one of my favorite groups never got a Grammy. Not one at all. That was Led Zeppelin. And I think they're the best band ever. Out of all bands ever. They're the greatest. And they never won a Grammy. Not one. So, I mean, it is what it is. Another one of my favorite artists he hasn't, he hasn't, he hasn't been, uh, he's not nominated. I don't think he hasn't even been nominated for Grammys. And he comes out with albums and he has the best albums. That's the weekend. The weekend don't fuck with the Grammys either, but it was a re it's a reason why that, and that's a whole story behind that. Why he don't mess with the Grammys no more. They, you know, they, they asked him to do the, the Grammys or the Super Bowl, and he chose the Super Bowl and I think they got upset about it and they, they didn't nominate none of his songs, even though that year blinding lights was, uh, obviously the greatest song and it's still the greatest song of all time i mean i know y'all probably looking at me like i got four heads but look at the metrics on it you know what i'm saying it literally is the most streamed song of all time you know what i mean so if it's the most streamed song of all time by far and it's still and it's a good song like every time i hear blinding lights it's like i never heard heard it before that's how good it is there's a couple of songs like that you know what I'm saying? That I, every time I hear it, I feel like I've never heard it before. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if it's the if it's the way the beat is structured or whatever, but it's great. Either way, man, the Grammys is one of those things that's always gonna be polarizing because people are always gonna feel like you ain't picked their person and or you pick this person and they don't like them, or you can say, Oh, you picked this person too much. It's always gonna be like that with the Grammys. Always. But you also gotta understand, you know. It is what it is, and I know we say, I know a lot of y'all say y'all hate the Grammys, but I could tell y'all right now, the next day, you're always looking to see who won, though. But either way, man, I'm out of here. I'll see y'all. Y'all have yourself a good morning, and um, yeah. Be back later. 7 o'clock.